when Dodonopa at FujiQ Highland was announced to be permanently closing early last year, it left its spot as the world's fastest accelerating roller coaster. And the next two on that list were Stealth at Thorpe Park and Max Force at Six Flags Great America. As for now, Stealth has the crown. But, with hydraulic launch coasters tending not to live up to their claims, I decided to do an analysis on both the park's rides to confirm what is actually the world's fastest accelerating roller coaster. By using frame by frame analysis of both the park's official POVs to keep the tests as fair as possible. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the testing. Starting off with stealth. Now, first, we're gonna go over how to find acceleration. Now, acceleration can be found by taking the max velocity minus the starting velocity and dividing that by the time it took to reach that final velocity. Now, in the case of stealth, the reported max velocity or speed is 80 miles per hour, which we will verify later. And the reported time it takes to reach 80 miles per hour is just 1.8 seconds, leaving stealth with a claimed acceleration of 19.87 meters per second squared. Now on to my testing. First, I found out the top speed. I did this by going to the very end of the launch track, where the catch car braking area is, and using a macro, went exactly 40 frames ahead in the 60 frames per second video. Then, I found the total distance traveled on Google Earth, which was in the neighborhood of 67 to 72 feet. And with the formula for speed being distance divided by time, I calculated the speed to be around 70 to 73 miles per hour, way lower than claimed. Next, I needed to find the time taken by the launch to reach that speed to find the actual acceleration. Again, I went back to my trusty macro and measured Stealth's launch to take around 130 frames on a 60 frames per second video. This equates to around 2.16 seconds, again, way off what was claimed. Now, to find the actual acceleration, Using that same formula I said earlier, I found Stell's actual acceleration, according to their POV, to be a generous 14.9 meters per second squared. Compare that to the 19.87, which it should have got, you find that Thorpe Park's claims are very much exaggerated. But, that would all be fine if it still beat Max Force. So, let's move on to that. Once again, I found Max Force's claimed acceleration by taking the claimed velocity, 78 miles per hour, and its claimed time to reach that velocity, 1.8 seconds, to find the claimed acceleration, which in this case was 19.37 meters per second squared. Now to find Max Force's speed. Again, I used this same macro to go to the very end of the launch track then went 20 frames forward in the 24 frames per second video to make the two somewhat equal and found that the total distance traveled was around 90 to around 98 feet. Then I found the calculated speed of max force to be anywhere from around 75 to 80 miles per hour, which is actually higher than what is provided by the park. Now time to find the time taken to reach that speed. I again used my macro to measure the time it took to reach that speed. For my calculations, Max Force took around 50 frames in the 24 frames per second video to reach the end of its launch track, leaving us with a total time of a little over 2 seconds. A little slower than claimed, but this is close enough to where it could reasonably have been a slight miscalculation on my part. This is in contrast to Stealth, where it was way off. Now to find Max Force's acceleration. And I found Max Force's actual acceleration, according to their POV, to be around 17.88 meters per second squared. Again, a little lower than expected, but still way higher than that of stealth. I'm kind of at a loss for words. I mean, I knew the hydraulic launches didn't actually reach their full advertised speed, but for stealth to be that far off what it claims is really surprising. And it's not like Thorpe Park or Six Flags Great America is hiding the actual data of their launches. I mean, I used the official POVs of both parks to make the test as fair as possible. After all, the park would not want to post a POV that actively showed their ride not doing what it's advertised to do. I mean, literally anyone could have done their own testing like I did and found out pretty quickly the actual top speed and acceleration of either of these roller coasters. Now, 
I actually have a theory on why stealth might not be as fast as it claims. In fact, the ride was not always advertised to go 80 miles per hour in just 1.8 seconds. It was actually originally advertised to go 80 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds, which more aligns with not only what we see in the data, but also what other hydraulic launches of similar height and scale, like Accelerator and Knott's Berry Farm, and the defunct Saturn, which actually shared a layout with Stealth. And I believe that when they changed the launch speed from 2.3 seconds to 1.8 seconds to make it less prone to rollbacks, the actual change was very small. Anyways, your new fastest accelerating roller coaster in the world, according to my analysis, is Max Force at Six Flags Great America. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.